The beginning of this video was supposed to contain Kid Picks 3 and a children's game called Clue Finders. Unfortunately, due to an editing error, that footage has been lost. Namely, I forgot to turn around and look at the monitor and make sure that anything was being recorded. So instead, I got an hour and a half of color bars. As a result, we are now going to jump directly into a terrible racing game. Please enjoy. Alright, so let's move on to Cluster Ball. This actually won't run on here because it requires a graphics accelerator and a Pentium 2, neither of which I have. However, I may install my Voodoo card later and then try it. So what else we got? Let's look at this Rally Championship thing. Uh, someone wrote their initials on it. It's from 1996, so I think this should be compatible with this machine. Wow, it brought me into a DOS app. motion video. Yeah! Oh man, that fade to blue was really good. Alright, so let's go straight to options. Um, we'll name ourselves. Uh, country. Uh, we are from Canada. Alright. Uh, visual preferences, that's what we're looking for. So, yeah, I think we want from inside the car. We do want that and that and that and that. Alright, we're ready to go, so let's start a rally. Uh, I think we want to do a practice if they've got that. Well, let's do an individual. Ooh, wow, that frame rate's terrific. Do we have an 886? No. Well, uh, I'm okay with that Subaru, so let's go for it. Uh, yeah, I don't know any of this stuff. Setup complete. Alright, let's do some racing. I do not know how to play. Oh, wow. This dashboard looks bad. Okay, I am not accelerating, and I'm not sure how to. Whoa, whoa. I was able to back up. What is going on? Okay, so this was typical of DOS games. This was really normal. That you'd get into the game and have no idea what you were doing. Let's see, is there a manual in here? Nothing. Uh, maybe there was a f paper manual that came with the game, but like it was normal for me with like shareware that I would get into the game and just spend minutes just button mashing. What makes me go? Oh. What? Why? Why would it be that? Why would those be the controls? Okay, that seems to be a break. Oh, there we go. Why? Why are those the controls? Those are so bad. It's Z and X to steer, and then it's, it's quote to accelerate, and it's slash to break. Who? came up with this? Whose idea was it? Oh no, this is cool. Despite the fact that these graphics look absolutely terrible, like the, the dashboard graphics are really, really low quality, uh, like scanned digitized photographs that they've just done a really poor job of converting for this. Um, the fact that you actually reach down to, whoa, the fact you actually reach down to a shift is pretty cool. 
the 3D is not too bad, although it's kind of bleak. And that's the thing, back then it was not uncommon, in my experience, for 3D games in particular to have graphics that for some reason were just really bleak. They were just really, um, like, nihilistic and depressing. Oh, God. That dude's ramming me. I think it's cool that they uh, changed the, the sound effects for each uh, camera position. They didn't need to do that. And that took up extra space on the disc, so it's, it's cool that they did that. It's cool that you actually have a navigator who uses voice. You know, honestly, this is running really quick, and it's fairly playable. Like, uh, I guess it feels about like the initial D arcade game. Um, I'm not sure which one I'm talking about, but uh, there's one that's, that's been in arcades for a while that's got like a, you know, a full simulator. Uh, it might be initial D three, something like that, but it's got that kind of easy, uh, sort of, you're kind of glued to the ground, um, hard to really spin out feel to it, which is interesting, especially considering the intro video shows a bunch of cars rolling over and whatnot. I, I wonder if it's actually possible to roll a car in this game. Oh, wow, we actually got some air there. Oh! See, I just smashed into the, into the wall there and then just kept going. So the physics are not, they're not stellar. You know, this is very, um, well, I mean, it's very typical for a pre, like, Gran Turismo, uh, what, 4, 3? The, the one that I think was PS2, uh, that sort of taught people what it was like to drive a car that actually behaved like a car. And there's the finish line. All right, I finished. So that was way too easy. Um, I think if I was going to have any sort of reasonable experience in this game, I'd probably have to set it to a harder difficulty. Um, I mean, considering that I just finished, I'm pretty sure I was in first place. Let's find out here. It doesn't really tell me. But I'm pretty sure that I was in first place, despite the fact I started out like two minutes late. Okay, so that was alright, but I guess maybe because that wasn't a real game, uh, it decided not to, to really test me too hard. Let's go and play an arcade level, and uh, we're going to do different car. Uh, let's do this Ford Escort. I noticed there was no CD music. Uh, I'm guessing that's... Actually, I don't know why that is, because the CD-ROM, I don't even think it was running. So, I'm not sure what's going on there. This is the sort of thing I, w I really expect with, like, DOSBox, you know, but I don't expect it with a real CD on a real machine. Like, this is the same as... Oh, God. There we go. I had, I had to shift into first before it would go. After that, it's automatic. Why would you do that? I would expect this sort of weird misbehavior with, like, DOSBox, but I wouldn't expect it with the real deal on the real steel. So, I'm not really sure what to think of that. Like, why isn't the CD-ROM running right now? I mean, I guess it could be intending to run it from disk, but I don't believe it transferred several hundred megabytes of WAV files. I mean, back then, the idea of CD-quality audio running from the hard drive was completely ridiculous, so there's no way it was supposed to do that. So, why the hell isn't it working? I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. And I mean, it really doesn't make any sense. Like, this is genuinely a puzzle. Like, why doesn't this work? It should be working right now. I have a feeling if I were to put the CD into a, you know, a, an ordinary uh, CD audio player that, that I would probably get audio. Now, back then, it was common to have issues getting CD audio because you didn't have the analog link cable plugged in between your sound card and your CD-ROM, but that's not what's going on here because that is an entirely analog connection and I am not even seeing the CD-ROM spin up, which means that it can't possibly know that that cable's not there, yet it's still not even trying to play the disc. So what the hell? Now, there's no indication of what place I'm in, but it does look like I'm pretty close to the end of either this section or the end of the race. I think the end of the race. Yep, there's the finish line. Okay, let's see how I did. And... It didn't tell me. Okay, uh, I guess maybe I don't really know how this type of game works. Maybe Rally is not really something I understand. I remembered to shift in that time. Oh, but I forgot to accelerate. Whoops! Wow, I really like this rain. This is gorgeous. Uh, I'm, I live up in Washington, and uh, it's been really sad not having any rain. Uh, we've had a really long summer, and, and all been waiting for the rain, and it just hasn't come. It finally came today, but it didn't look anything like this. This is really gorgeous. It seems like they actually rendered the, um, the raindrops in 3D space. They're not just uh, an overlay or anything. Oh, and then the rain da the rain has a direction. Okay, so yeah, it seems to be moving in 3D space. Now, see, again, I feel like I'm having way too easy a time over overtaking these people. Like, uh, it, it should be much harder than this, right? 
I'm just glued to the ground. You know, I can't lose traction. Um, I'm just turning without even braking, and, and it just doesn't care. Yeah, that guy finally overtook me, but I mean, in the rain? Really? If this was supposed to be like a realistic rally simulation, it completely failed. These cars should be just tearing out all over the place. See, I, I hit the edge, I hit like a tree or something, and instead of getting hung up on it, uh, my inertia just kind of transferred and went forward. That's no good. This is honestly really relaxing. Well, that wasn't so much, but... There we go. Yeah, I, I don't really know what the goal is here. Am I supposed to be outpacing these people? I mean, it, it seems like it doesn't matter what I do. Okay, immediately going to take an aggressive posture. Try and get out in front of everyone. There we go. Okay, hit that guy a couple of times. This game doesn't like penalize me or anything, but maybe that's maybe that's acceptable in, in rally racing. I wouldn't know. One thing I like is that the horizon is being tilted. That's not an easy thing to perform on a really old processor, and the fact that they're actually doing it to match the way the car tilts uh, really improves the verisimilitude of the simulation. Uh, unfortunately, that all sort of falls apart when you see the trees, which look absolutely horrendous. And yeah, it all feels really desolate and dead, like, despite the fact there's a human voice talking to me, despite the fact that I'm in, you know, a, a Ford Escort and everything, and and doing a very human thing, you know, driving in a race, it doesn't feel like that's what's going on. It, it feels like I'm nowhere. It, it feels like I'm in, in some, you know, House of Leaves alterverse. It's weird because they put so much effort into this game. I mean, there's a lot of love that had to have gone into this, and yet, uh, you know, this is what we get. It's just not... it has no life to it. I'm just, I'm racing and I'm passing cars. I don't know if I'm in a position, and, and I don't know why I'm passing them, and I'm traveling through this canyon made out of trees with just hard black in, in between them, and I don't know what any of this means, and I don't know why. I don't know what any of this is for. I don't know why I'm doing it. What's the point? Is that the finish? Or is that yet another checkpoint? It's another checkpoint. I've been driving for so long. And it's another checkpoint. Will I ever finish this race? Oh, I see. There's the map up top. Alright, I'm two-thirds done. But I still have two more checkpoints to go. Apparently my engine is damaged. That's a little weird. Um, if I blow the engine, I, I guess I'll end this rally series early. But I don't really know what it means because I didn't drop in speed or anything, so... Is it just because I've been accelerating hard for too long? Because I don't know what else you're supposed to do in a race. Maybe I ran into something. Another checkpoint. We're almost there. We're almost done with this interminable race. I don't feel like there's a human driving this car. There's just an object in front of me. A drone. Not even a robot. Just a nothing. Just, it's there. Finally, it's over. Alright, we got one more. Alright, again, mash the accelerator and get out in front as fast as I can. Holy crap, it just keeps giving me directions over and over and I have no idea which ones I'm actually supposed to be on at any given moment. So the navigator code uh, is not very well written. I also like how um, instead of actually modeling headlights, which would have been very hard at the time, uh, they just have the usual sort of uh, distance fall off lights. You know, the same algorithm would have been used in... Oh, no! No, it actually, um, they did model headlights. I'm, I'm a lying, I'm a lying bastard. Wow. Those look cool. Honestly, those look pretty cool. Man. An actual headlight effect in a software renderer. That's so cool to look at. I just want to play with it. Screw the race. Oh. Wasn't paying attention. Oh, and there we are. There's the finish. Finally. Finally, the rally is done. All right, so what's the outcome? I came out on top, and that's it. And that's it. And that's it. That was, um, that was really dull. The game is, the game is technically proficient. Like, that was a pretty cool engine. 
um, it ran at a high frame rate. It had lighting effects, uh, fog and, and, and rain. But like many early DOS games, it just had no life to it. It had no no color, no... It just didn't feel like humans were involved with it. It felt like robots made it. It felt like... It's hard to explain, but games from this era didn't feel real. They felt like you were looking at a some sort of abstract painting of a game. Anyway, uh, so yeah, there it is. I think we've seen everything we're going to see about that game. What's general information? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's just uh, yeah, numbers and stuff. Who cares? All right, so that's that. I can't make the other game. I was going to demo in this segment load, so I guess enjoy Rally Championship. <laughs>